guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're like, hi, is this your Halloween look? Nope, it isn't. It's not. I just try to save what could be saved during those very late night hours, but some things just cannot be saved. It's been such a long time. I feel this has become kind of my standard sentence every video. I do have a few fun videos coming up for you. I'm going to Dubai in a couple of days, so I'm definitely gonna take you guys with me along to the journey. And I have a video coming up of our house tour. So for those of you who don't know, we are building an epic, if I may say so myself, a very epic house. Um, like, oh my God, I'm glowing. I'm just gonna say it's on purpose, but it's not. I filmed the before the before, before the windows are actually put in. So you're going to see kind of like the whole before. So if you're interested in that, if you want me to take you on that journey, make sure you subscribe down below because this video will be coming pretty soon your way. But today I have a video that I've also kind of promised quite a long time. It was actually one of my viewers who was like, where's that puzzle bag with you, girl? So if you recognize yourself, Hi, but I'm here with the Loewe puzzle bag. I've had this now for a little over six months, so I feel that I have kind of been able to really utilize this bag, use it a decent amount, and I have my thoughts, I have pros and cons about this bag, and whoa! <laughs> and I'm going to share them with you. This is currently not the bag that I'm using because I bought something new from Vuitton, uh, which I'm going to share with you guys as well. But I wanted to pop in here because I do feel that this is a perfect autumnal bag. Now, I am not someone who is like, oh, this is a fully summer bag and this is like a winter bag. You can use whatever bag whenever, nobody cares. But this one in particular, because of its durability, I feel I grab this one a lot more when the weather is a bit untrustworthy. So this is something that I just flaunt spring and autumn, granted it's first autumn, but like at spring, this was my go-to bag as well. Really, really love this. This is the medium size. It also comes in a smaller size and I believe there's like one humongous size that probably can be used for travels, but it's pretty hard to find. I think you can only find it on their own website. It does come in an array of different colors, color patterns. I'm gonna go through the pros, then the cons, and then I'm gonna give you a YouTuber's name who reviews this magical creature in a very fabulous way. And she's definitely gonna like push you over to buy this. So if you don't wanna buy this, don't look at her video. If you wanna buy this, you'll see her name at the end. But pros of this bag, pro number one, it is a very timeless bag. There are these moments where you see more influencers carrying that, um, hence trying to kind of push us over to buy that. And it kind of goes into this very effortlessly, you know, trendy handbag category. But let's be honest, this is not a trendy bag per se. This style of bag is going to be in 20, 30 years from now. This just looks timeless. You cannot go wrong investing into a leather piece like this. Pro number two is its functionality. You can use it multiple ways. It has a top handle large enough together with this creasing in here that you can wear it in the crook of your arm. Even when the bag is quite full, I'm just gonna try and do this, you see that the top handle still comes away quite a lot so you can definitely get away with wearing it in the crook of your arm. There are also multiple ways to actually carry it with the strap. I have not found it useful, but one way that you could carry it is just like this, because this bag is something that you can squish together. I love traveling with it as well, because you can completely squish it and make it flat, so it lies really nicely flat in your luggage. It comes with a very nice size strap, so if you're tall, if you're short, doesn't matter, it covers you, like it truly does cover you. I am six foot tall, and on the longest stand, it falls the, at the perfect place. It is a very, very long strap. 
It also goes really, really short. It is a very beautiful strap. The detailing of this bag is absolutely stunning. If you're someone who really values quality, you're definitely gonna love this bag. One huge pro of this bag that is a must, in my opinion nowadays, is this pocket in the back that very comfortably fits um, an iPhone, a normal size iPhone. The plus will fit there, but it's going to come out just a little. It would be fine like if you were carrying a crossbody and you just went to park your phone there for a little while but uh, an iphone 10 for example fits there perfectly and i can also lock it and i know that my phone is always there i find that that kind of pockets nowadays are a must because we are basically surgically attached to our phones and every now and then when we go to a toilet or when we want to pay, we need to park our phone somewhere. So I feel that kind of pockets are very, very useful. Now, one thing that kind of divides people in terms of do you like this bag or not is the slouchiness of this bag because it gets this, this shape, this, this kind of shape. I love this. I absolutely love this. I cannot wait for this bag to age more um, and to be honest this this slouchy thing here and the flap on top make it that even if your bag remains open like you go in there and let's say you don't close the zipper the moment you grab the top handle the back bag the bag kind of closes on itself so it's secure you know if the flap wasn't there I'm just gonna try I mimic that situation so if the flap wasn't there you would you would have this opening and you would kind of like have to almost close it i love this flap and for that reason this bag oftentimes is carried open <laughs> i don't know how safe it is but it's just i love the form of it in terms of size it is very comparable to my speedy 30 actually it fits a lot of things that my speedy 30 did the Speedy 25 is ever so slightly tinier in terms of width than this one. So this one definitely kind of compares to the Speedy 30. I did sell my Speedy 30 because I knew that I would get a lot more use out of this one and I have not looked back since. The major pro of this bag, which I already mentioned, is the fact that if you get it in the leather version, because they also come in all kinds of different materials, it is a very durable bag. Now, you are going to be able to see some scratches, but they can be kind of buffed out. This is how smooth the leather is. And this is the kind of bag and leather that you know is going to only look prettier with age. The feet underneath are also a very welcome detail, uh, makes it easier to just put it on the ground, which I do. I do put my bag on the ground because I'm not gonna be the freak who's like, I need a chair for my bag. I'm not gonna be the freak. And a huge pro, is that it's a very underrated bag because you just you just don't know what bag it is unless you're a real handbag or a fashion lover you just don't know what bag it is and i go through phases i go through phases where i'm obsessed with the louis vuitton print where i am like obsessed with speedies and all the luggage pieces and then i go through a phase where i'm like too much that is too much i don't want that attention on me and this is like the perfect bag to go incognito, but still look very stylish. This is what I love about it. Now I wanna talk about the few cons that it has. The con, which is also a pro, is the fact that it's so slouchy. So if you're somebody who loves a sturdy bag, this one is most probably not going to fully keep its shape. It's going to kind of become slouchier by the time. That's the quality of a smooth leather. If you want a bag that is very structured and similar to this one, then I would say look towards the Givenchy Antigona bag or Antigona or, you know. So the slouchiness can be a downside. So if it becomes really, really worn out, currently this is something that I definitely would take also on a dinner. I love to pair it with a very casual, smart casual look, like if I have a blazer um, and white sneakers, I think that this is a very cool addition to that. The shape of it is, is going to decrease as you put stuff inside. So I would say if you are taking kind of your, your minimal stuff and a little bit more, you can also get like a water bottle in there. It is going to keep its shape, but it's going to have this wave shape here. But the more you put stuff in there, you have to think that the shape cannot, is not gonna have any room to 
do that thing <laughs> so that is uh, that is a con but even if it's filled to the brim I have never felt that I'm like oh it's ugly you know like even if it's a little bit more boxy I think it still looks very stunning one of the negatives that I find is that the interior is the kind of it's a linen it seems like a linen cloth interior so it might get dirty I haven't had any problems so far but you know if you're somebody who really goes at it throws lipsticks loosely in there or pens then you have to be a little bit mindful of that this is it you guys this is my Loewe review there's one more youtuber who has like made a magnificent review about the puzzle bag she has amazing sense of style and if you have never discovered her i'm sure you're going to love her it's karen Brichick. i love her aesthetic like I am not in the place right now where I can buy all the clothes that I want because my body is not in its perfect shape but I love to see her and the way that she's so passionate about it you know guys like we all know that it's a public secret that like YouTube is filled with a myriad of like fake people equally you've got people who really do that for fun and for you know the passion for whatever that they are doing and she's one of those people who's like a f who's like a breath of fresh air because she's so passionate about the way that she talks about fashion and yeah i'm just i love her every time i see a video from her pop up i'm like Ooh, yeah. entertainment like pure entertainment so if you're a fashion lover and if you want to know more about the puzzle bag definitely go and check her out oh my god oh my god the editing that i'm gonna have to do <sighs> come on wrap up girl wrap up i hope that i covered everything if i didn't i'm sure you guys are going to mention down below but if you have any questions i'm going to reply to you for sure when this bag goes into rotation again i might do a what's in my bag and what fits in this bag if you want to if you don't want to that's cool as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you again next time. Bye.